Thank you, Phil. He's one of South Africa's most remarkable drumming talents, an award-winning percussionist, but above all, one of the most talented jazz artists in the country. In 2014, he walked away with a South African Music Award for Best Contemporary Jazz for his debut album titled Ascension of the Enlightened. We are referring none other than, of course, Tlali McKenna, also known as the Groove Master, who has just released his second album titled Swazi Gold. The deeply philosophical McKenna joins us now to talk about Swazi Gold and which he'll perform officially at the Soweto Theatre later this month. Sir, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for How having me. How are you me. doing, by the way? Life is good. Life is good. We are pushing. And I, I, I am so fascinated by this name, Swazi Gold, because <laughs> it refers to something else. <laughs> but I'm going to allow you to explain to me in the context of this Swazi Gold. No, you know, Swazi Gold is a... I, I was born in, in Johannesburg, but raised in Swaziland. And this project is a... It, it's, it's showing... Uh, my swaziness, yeah. Because I am, I, I, I am like this right now because of Swaziland, mm. and uh, for me, all that I have and Swaziland has offered to me wow. is, is, is gold and yeah. more than gold. So the only the, the only way I could put it is a Swazi gold. But Swazi gold, uh, the gold gold, the gold part of the Swazi gold yeah. is part of a series of projects. Yeah. So now it's traditional music brought into jazz harmony and all so and jazz brought into traditional music. So this this could be this is Swazi Gold. We will we'll, we'll have uh, Tsonga Gold, we'll have Tosa Gold. Okay. It, it part of the series. When you do a second album, the, yes. the first one was so highly successful. Yeah. And you want to also reflect where you come from. Yes. And you want to pay homage and tribute to that. Do you kind of forget what you did on the first album and have to go s creatively somewhere else? Not necessarily. Not okay. necessarily because everything is a step. The first yeah. album, Ascension of the Enlightened, was my first footing. Yeah. My introduction, it was more of a dedicatory album from thanking all the people that have have helped me yeah. from the spiritual world in, uh, uh, and the living. So now, the, the, the Swazi Gold is, is my second footing. So you will find in the album that the first segment is called uh, the, the First Awakening yeah. in Sangulugo, Yegutala. Uh, so now, w because the first one was Ascension of the Enlightened, so they ascended. So the second one, okay. w w what is happening? There comes awake, the, the awakening. So the second one, it's it's saying the next step. Okay. So, we, so you keep on progressing. Yeah, basically, yeah. there's one plan. Yeah. So everything that comes after goes into the first plan. So with that linkage, does it mean that, you know, obviously the first album or the second album speaks to the first album, mm -hmm. but the journey for your fan, the yeah. journey for uh, people that know the Machene music, yes. uh, is seamless. Yes, it is seamless because one, uh, I believe we are a bag of a bag of goodies. Yeah. So as a bag of goodies, we have so much that we have to offer to people. Yeah. So I can have a thousand albums, but each th each album is one of my artistic uh, things, or yeah. my, my, it's like one of my thoughts. So. It, it has to grow. So the journey with Swazi Gold, I am, I, am, I am saying this is the other me. This is who I am. Know me from where I come from. Know the real me, as yeah. you know, because you might know me. But now I'm giving myself to you to see what, what is happening. An another element. Another element. So you work with one of my other favorite guys, Mozambique Moreira. Uh, I always love him. I ended up <laughs> on stage with him last year somewhere. And we were talking about both being chubby. Um, talk to me about that experience because he's also a friend. Yeah, saxophonist. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, just recently, I was at Cape, Cape, Town, uh, Cape Town Jazz International. Yeah. And I was playing with him with the great Manu Dibango. Yeah. And what a pleasure. And ah, it's an honor. So with Morera, he's a friend. He's not just a... A music, like a musician that I play with, he's a, he's a very good friend of mine. And uh, the good thing, his his hair, his headspace, he comes from the same uh, headspace that I, I'm from. You, we we feed from 
yeah. from, from our, our roots, our, our traditional roots, into the jazz space. But we do not allow jazz to, 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 say, to guide us yeah. or, or, or force us in, 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 into itself. So being with Morera, it's, our friendship is... It's reciprocal. Yeah, exactly. She was English. <laughs> <laughs> you do get an amazing job. Uh, in studio with us, hey man, this guy's a legend. Award-winning percussionist, one of South Africa's most sought-after drum beaters, Tlale Machene. He's speaking to us about the second, uh, second album. It's called Swazi Gold. He's going to perform it on the 28th of April, and that's on a Friday at Soweto Theatre. Let's support this. Buy the tickets. Get the album. As you can hear, it's a, it's a spiritual journey. We take an air break, don't get it.